Hey everybody, this is Mike with Plus A Precision and fairly straightforward project this week. My drawbar, the threads, um, are a little bit boogered up. So, I ordered a drawbar and I'll cut to that footage now. And here we're back, and you can see the length of the drawbar that I ordered. Um, it's quite a bit shorter than the one that was on there. And this says a J2, which I'm assuming is for a variable speed head. The one I ordered was for a um, step pulley head, which is what I have. But... As you saw in the video, I do not have a bridge port. So my back gear armature, I'm not sure what that's called, back gear ring, maybe it's taller than a bridge port, I don't remember. Um, I haven't been up close and personal with a bridge port in quite a few years. So I don't know if, um, if this would fit fine. But as you can see in the video, uh, there's not much sticking out of there. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. i got a couple ideas. This one was a tough son of a to get off of this shaft. It was pressed in and pinned. I thought it was just pinned. I knocked the pin out and still wouldn't come off. Heated it up with a torch you can see the discoloration and it had a fairly significant press for that diameter of a shaft I think it was over a thou press on a 716 shaft that's quite a bit um, so I guess we'll discover this together how I'm gonna fix this I figure I could either disassemble this but now I'm worried is that gonna be a press fit or I've got Another cutoff piece of a drawbar. Do I add that to the end down here with, say, like a coal roll or mild steel pin between the two pieces, making sure that they align properly? I don't know. Sit tight and um, see where we go with this.
I just <clears throat> uh, wanted to add this to the video. Um, both of these holes are blind holes. And I made this pin out of tool steel. Uh, turned down to a diameter that will fit inside of here. Not quite a, a full press, but perfect alignment. Well, whenever you have a blind hole, I don't know how this is going to show up. But if you can see that flat, there's a flat right here. I put that on on the belt sander. That way it, it allows the air to escape. Um, it's always a good thing to do. That way you don't have any, you know, um, airlock situations and allows your pieces to fit together properly. But I wish you could see that a little bit better, but I guess you can see it there. It's just a flat. It just takes a second. You're just taking that tangent. I out. reamed both these pieces with the same reamer. And I guess the only difference I did is this one I reamed without putting the chamfer on first, which is a no-no. This one I put the chamfer on. And the speed was probably the same. I should have lowered the speed down a lot more. A lot of times when you run a reamer slow, you get a tighter hole. If you run a reamer fast, you'll get a looser or a more loose hole. So you can see I marked up this pin. And the reason that is is because it's not perfectly parallel. There's, a like I say, a one-thou taper in the thing, which, unfortunately, I need to level out my little lathe. But... I don't normally cut anything where I got to hold a thou, so. But on here, you can see it, it's a slip fit into this piece. It's also a slip fit into this piece. But yet the other end is not a slip fit in this piece. But it's still a slip fit in this piece. So. How do I make this thing grow a little bit so at least I'll have a press in there so when I at least get it up on the drill press and uh, get ready to drill for the roll pins, it'll stay together on its own. It'll still be in a vise, but... So here's a little trick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. All right, so we're back over here on the lathe. I haven't done any knurling on the lathe, so I don't know how it's going to handle it. But that's the trick. You take your pin where I have the green marker and we're going to put a knurl in that area. What that'll do is that'll actually enlarge the diameter um, and hopefully allowing it to have somewhat of a press fit into those hex pieces that are going to go onto the draw bar. Um, that is part of what knurling can be doing for you is, is it's actually a forming operation. So you're actually enlarging the surface uh, when you put the knurls on. So just remember that's a little, I guess a little tech tip, little pro tip. Out of the lathe and you see we got some knurling on there just in one spot like I wanted so the diameter of this pin is 436 and 7 16 is 437 maybe in a half right okay so I wanted to add the knurling so I could get a little enlargement on the diameter of the shaft 
So let's measure the the knurling area. Oops. And you see we've increased by roughly eight thousandths by adding the knurling. So that's a handy little tip because if you can see here, that part still goes in, which it did before. It starts there, but then it stops on the knurling. And it's not like it's a, you know, it's going to take a little bit of press. Not a lot, but a little bit of press. Same thing here. So that's, a, I guess, a tech tip. One way that you can uh, enlarge the shaft a little bit to gain some diameter. Um, that's a way to enlarge the diameter to a certain amount. Not a lot, but a certain amount. And then now it'll the pin will hold in there and it'll be a press in there. So there's your little tech tip. Let's continue on and assemble this thing. All right, so now we're in the vise. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and drill this, center drill it, and then drill it with an eighth-inch drill and put the, uh, the roll pins in or the split pins, <clears throat> and then uh, this will be wrapped up. Now I just got to poke it through <clears throat> uh, over on the drill press. I didn't want to drill into the parallel, so another minute and we'll be done with this thing. All right, there we go. The holes are done all the way through. And uh, I'm just going to pound them in here up on this anvil get this project all done and out of the way I don't think I've shown this on YouTube um, I did post some pictures on um, Instagram I do have an Instagram it's basically the same thing Instagram plus a precision go check it out I'll put a, there's a link always in the description but my son made me this for Christmas um, still got to do a little bit of milling on it square up some of these sides and what have you but uh yeah I wasn't expecting it didn't know he was doing it did it all on his own did this with a four inch grinder did a pretty good job but enough of that that'll be a project in the future so let me go ahead and uh, get these roll pins in and be done with this project All right, cut those off with a little cutoff wheel, and we are done. So, thank you for joining me on this project. Hope you like this video. 
If you did like this video and you like the content, you like some of the other videos, please consider subscribing. If you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate the new subscribers and all my existing subscribers. Um, thanks for watching. You know, hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.